everyone welcome back to our channel as you could see from the title this is going to be the reveal for our exterior so I'm happy to show you guys uh, the process that we uh, actually did to make sure that we did this correct uh, so the first thing is power washing your mobile home um, you do have to make sure you power wash and that it is dry completely before you start painting um, and just to let you know, guys know as well, uh, this did not happen in one day. Uh, this was a series of multiple days um, that we actually had to do this to complete. Um, and that was due to either weather, um, us being tired, and then us waiting for delivery um, of this hose. This hose actually popped um, when I had finished uh, just about half of the mobile home so we did have to order another one on Amazon uh, that did take a couple days but uh, after it did we continued uh, to work so <clears throat> after we power washed after it was dry we started to actually tape the windows um, because the plan is to paint the uh, window trim here black so we decided after much debate of whether what we were going to paint it and you know what products to use uh, we decided to go with black uh, for the window trims uh, gray for the house and then white for uh, the top trim and uh, the base the skirt of the mobile home so that was the plan and you can see I'm using uh, spray paint uh, that was a lot easier to use um, we thought about maybe just roll, you know, painting with the roller and, you know, using regular paint. However, we knew that was going to take more time and we actually wanted to finish this as soon as we can. So we can start on the living room and kitchen. So, um, also want to note, uh, the whole process of using the spray gun for the paint um, was a learning curve uh, for my husband. Um, we've never used spray paint, um, the spray paint at all. So this was a new experience for us. And you can see I was holding the board while he was spraying. Um, and that was due to, I didn't want the neighbor's house to get painted on. So we were trying to uh, protect her house as, as much as we can. And you can see he's doing the white at the bottom. Um, and I thought that would look nicer if we kind of just the contrast of the gray with the white at the bottom with the black windows. And we did plan on doing the, the new door that we have. We're going to put it right there at the left. Um, but that comes a little later because uh, that does require us to do framework uh, for the new door. But the two doors will be black. So, um, the spray paint, um, I tried it once. Uh, it sprays very quickly, just to let you guys know. So you do have to kind of work fast with it. Um, it's not something that you could actually take your time and, you know, try to aim it to make sure that it goes uh, perfectly where you need it to. So this required, uh, you know, us to kind of touch um, touch up what we missed as far as using this gun um, but it did go a lot faster than you know paint using rollers and paint um, definitely the painting process uh, was pretty fast I think we did that in two days um, so as you could see uh, the sun is out and where we are is very hot so we tried to actually you know go in front of the sun or be or try or try to go behind the sun so that we weren't in the sun all day um that was a little bit of a bummer uh, unfortunately you know due to weather so we just kind of worked a little bit and then took a break and then the next day we did uh, another patch of the house so you can see here the paint goes on pretty quick like i said um he was able to get the whole house done in two days, like I said. So that's pretty quick when you think about it. And we only spent maybe, 
I would say two, maybe three hours each time. So that's pretty good. But we did, I have to let you guys know, we did have to touch up, um, you know, as far as the gray, as far as the white and the black. So this wasn't like something easy where we didn't have to go behind it and, and fix. We did have to fix a lot. Um, what I'm doing is I'm putting up a painter's tape that actually has... Uh, plastic underneath it so it's pretty cool you kind of just roll it wherever you need and then you just pull the plastic all the way down so this plastic actually covered the whole window so we did this when we were uh, just about to do the gray uh, for the house so most of your time honestly if you have a spray gun uh, it goes pretty fast as far as painting However, the bulk of your work is going to be taping uh, and making sure that your windows are covered, uh, that your trims are covered, um, if need be. So that was the, the tedious part that we had to deal with. Okay, and you can see the, the paper was coming off and that was because it had rained the night before. Okay, so this is him painting the trim um, at the top. So like I said, it, you know, he said it was pretty easy to do. It was just, you just had to work fast with it. He said if you kind of slow down um, at any section, you'll have streaks, you'll have like drips, um, which you would have to go behind it with a, a hand roller uh, just to kind of smooth out the paint. And this white paint as well, we also got this off of Facebook Market. Um, and, so the, and so was the gray, just to let you guys know. Um, we tend to find a lot of things at Facebook Market, if you haven't noticed, um, at a great deal as well. We're trying to save money because there's so much to do with this house. So if we can get it off of Facebook Market, that's where we're going to go. Um, this paint, the white paint was $50. If you were to get it at Home Depot, it would have been maybe $150. Uh, the gray paint, if you were to buy that at Home Depot, it was uh, about four to $500. Uh, but we were able to get that um, at $100 off of Facebook. So I'm starting to think I should do like a commercial for Facebook Market. <laughs> Um, since it's something that we use all the time. And I have to tell you guys that there was much debate about this color gray. Um, I originally wanted a darker gray. Uh, it was darker where it uh, was kind of like a, um, a dark dusty blue almost, but it was gray. Um, I really love that color. Um, however, like I said, if we had actually bought it at Home T Depot, it would have been four or $500. So, um, I kind of was okay with this color. Um, in the beginning, I wasn't uh, a fan of it. But when I saw the house finished and all together, uh, it did grow on me uh, a little bit. And then, I mean, technically overall though, I think the color uh, worked well um, because it didn't stand out in the neighborhood, uh, if that makes sense. I think the darker gray, if I had gone with the darker gray, it would have stood out too much. Um, and that's something that we didn't want to do. This is relatively temporary for us because we do want to do new siding in the future. So then, you know, I was okay with it because I said, okay, it's temporary. Um, you know, we'll have it up for maybe a year or so. And then, you know, when we have the money, we'll you know do the new siding um so i was okay with this color but like i said once it was done i was actually really happy with it oh and, and another note i do want to let you guys know about this whole spray painting thing um this like i said this was all new to us so because we did this in multiple days when you're painting 
when you're done, you have to clean the whole system. It's not like you can just let it sit in in the you know in the the bucket or sit in the um the tube that you're using. It does have to be cleaned out when you finish. And that is because it will harden. It would um actually you wouldn't be able to use the spray because it'll get clogged. So that's a, a, a note that I do want to let, or a little tip that I do want to let you guys know if you're using the spray. Um, it's very easy to use. However, the cleaning process does take long because you do have to clean it out thoroughly. Um, it is not something that you could just let it sit or just run water through it or whatever. Uh, just to let you guys know. Uh, so this is my husband just touching up. Uh, some of the black um, because of the spray so it did get on uh, the black trim that we did already but okay so this is our finished product um, you can see up there at the top it does need to be touched up where that little bit of orange is showing there because uh, we haven't gotten up to the roof yet but these are this is our finished exterior um, I'm going to do a video about these plants um, in another one, in, a, in another video for you guys, uh, just to let you know what it's called and, you know, uh, how much they were and what I did with uh, the front there. But yeah, it looks nice. I'm happy with it. Looks a lot cleaner. Uh, we got compliments from our neighbors uh, in regards to the color. So I think it's a thumbs up. Um, as far as what we were able to do. And then, of course, as always, I'm going to do a before and an after picture for you guys. Just to put into context what it looked like, bef you know, when we first bought it um, to what it looks now. As far as everything being done. And I hope you guys like it too. Um, it took some work, but we got it done. I think it looks um, fresher, cleaner, uh, and that was the goal. And you can see there are some spots there that we need to touch up, so that is something we can definitely do, um, but that would have to wait because we're actually already on our next project. But I wanted to get this video out so you guys can see it. All right, so this is what it was before, if you don't remember. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.